Overseas now to Israel, where the bodies of six Israeli hostages were found dead in a tunnel in southern Gaza. Among them, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, an Israeli American whose parents have been outspoken advocates for bringing Hamas captives home. Israel says tonight the hostages were killed just moments before they could be rescued. Meanwhile, nearly a million people flooded the streets of central Tel Aviv for hours today to protest the deaths. Many calling on Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to do more to bring home the remaining hostages in Gaza and also blaming him and Hamas both for their deaths. And besides the protests, candlelight vigils are also taking place across Israel tonight. About 100 hostages are still being held by Hamas in Gaza. NBC's Raf Sanchez has the latest from Tel Aviv. Tonight, grief and anger on the streets of Tel Aviv. After the bodies of six young Israeli hostages were recovered from Gaza, including American Hirsch Goldberg Poland. The IDF says they were executed by Hamas in a tunnel underneath the city of Rafah as Israeli troops were closing in. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying, I was outraged to the depths of my soul by the horrific cold-blooded murder of six of our hostages. But here outside Israel's defense ministry, much of the anger is aimed at Prime Minister Netanyahu. These protesters accuse him of blocking a deal to bring the hostages home. And every time it's a different excuse. And Trade unions announcing a general strike tomorrow, threatening to shut down Israel's main airport unless Netanyahu accepts a deal.